So listen up, chickens. This is for you. I thought it'd be fun to do a, an episode where I talk to customers for our eggs, see what they like about them, what their favorite thing is to do with them. For me, one of my favorite things to do with eggs is something that Wendy makes for me. It's a kind of a sausage egg McMuffin. It's got the English muffin, cheese, sausage, and uh, one of our delicious eggs, of course. She'll make a, a bunch of them, I'll just put them in the freezer, and I like having them as a treat here at work. Something to look forward to on my break. Oh, I also wanted to mention, before I forget, thank you to everyone who saves their empty egg cartons for me. That really makes a big difference. I appreciate it very much. So this is Michaela, and uh, she's been getting some of our eggs for quite a while now. Yeah, actually quite a while. Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your favorite thing to do with our eggs? Honestly, the main thing I really like to do with them is just eat them straight scrambled because they are some like the best tasting eggs. They're so rich and so creamy and amazing. So usually I just scramble them and eat them for like breakfast anytime yeah. I can. Um, only other thing I really make with them is like, I love breakfast, so mm -hmm. like crepes. French toast, either way, they're just my absolute favorite. So, but typically scrambled is just my favorite thing to do ever. So, it's like basically every other morning now. Great. They're so good. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you do have roommates. Mm -hmm. Are you getting all of these eggs yourself or are they kind of. No, getting... he's helping me quite a bit. I, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I suspect that's the case, sure. Yeah, sure. so it's just us two, but yeah, for the most part. That's why I went from 12 to 6 because I was like, there's so many and I love them so much, but after a while, I'm like, to chill, need to breathe, so it's great though. They're so nice to have compared to you know the store ones. I don't think I can go back to store anymore. Mm -hmm. They're too good. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank of you. course. Thank you. So I'm here with Ben, a good friend. He has uh, occasionally appreciated some of our eggs in the past. It's been a little while since he's got any from us lately. Tell me what you like to do with our eggs. Why, why farm fresh eggs are uh, important to you? Absolutely. Uh, well, first, what I like to do with eggs, and what I definitely miss about having eggs in my life, is making egg bagels. Mm. Yeah, homemade I'm a big bagels? fan. Yeah, n well, not homemade bagels, but egg bagels. Mm. So take a bagel, butter, honey, and a freshly cooked fried egg on top, uh, over hard. Oh. Those were great days. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is what I often made with the eggs. Uh, my wife, Sophia, has been vegan now for almost a year. And what pushed her toward being vegan was a number of medical issues and allergens that happened to do with dairy. Since she couldn't have any uh, dairy, mm -hmm. we decided, what's the point of eggs anyway? Mm -hmm. And so since our diet has completely changed to a plant-based diet, I have no need for eggs anymore right. um, and that feels good but I definitely do miss my uh, my classic egg bagel in the morning and then in terms of farm fresh eggs this for me was a revolution many years ago with Michael Pollan's book about okay. um, gosh it's not botany of desire I'm trying to remember the name of the book now it really was the revolution in localizing food and recognizing that the industry of chicken farming as well as quote free range eggs was a bunch of baloney and finding ways to localize our food meant that we had more control over the environment that uh, from which that food comes from and knowing that your chickens go out 
um, that they are grazing on grass, that they are getting what uh, the nutrients they need makes me happy to know that those eggs kind of come from that that place where they're cared for and they're not just like given a little square to exist on and, yeah, yeah. and treated that terribly. Chickens. That exactly. Chickens. Great nutrition. Uh, mm -hmm. And just in general, localizing food is uh, localizing food and um, our economies is just a more sustainable world. There's no petroleum involved in the uh, movement of that food or there's less petroleum involved. One of the great quotes from Michael Pollan in that book is, can you taste the petroleum in your food? <laughs> because all food kind of, all the food in many of our supermarkets kind of comes from out of locale uh, and it is shipped in. And so there is petroleum involved and it's important to kind of consciously recognize that there is a flavor to that. Whether or not we taste it with our taste buds, uh, it is there. And uh, recognizing that petroleum is involved is important. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for yeah. the brief interview. We're here with Brandt, and he's been using some of our eggs as well. Not every single week, but uh, as available and as he has a need, need for it. What would you, uh, what would you like to say about... Uh, yeah, so, first of all, yeah. I really appreciate that Brian's able to sp supply me eggs. They're absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. It's nice being able to support something local and sustainable. And the flavor and texture of the eggs is much better than what you can get in the store. That's probably my favorite part, is just they taste so good. My girlfriend is usually pretty picky about eggs and doesn't like them mostly for the texture. Mm -hmm. Likes them because they stay a little bit thicker. Um, I think that's due to the freshness of the eggs. I've heard that fresh eggs hold their consistency a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite way to make them is probably just sunny side up, something where you can really get the flavor in and not have it covered up by too much, but also do omelets, breakfast sandwiches. My girlfriend uses them in baking all the time, so pretty much anything. Cool, cool. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. This is Olivia. She's She's one of our newest egg customers, and uh, tell me how much you like our eggs. Uh, I like them a lot, actually. I have been, haven't been buying them long, but I eat a lot more eggs now, and I'm happy because they're healthier and fresher. They have a lot better flavor. I've gotten my kids to eat more eggs recently, mm -hmm. and gosh, we make them a lot of different ways. Um, mayonnaise, boil them just scrambled in our breakfast we just eat, I eat like a pretty high protein diet so could go through a dozen eggs two days yeah so yeah. we go through a lot of eggs now I think you were telling me that you grew up with chickens yeah we had a, a family member of ours or pretty pretty close friends of ours that we considered family that had a chicken coop and house next to where we'd stay all the time. So there's like a swing set and we'd hang out with the chickens and watch mm -hmm. them eat or go collect eggs. And sometimes we get pecked on the hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. well they're fun. They're fun chickens. Yeah, yeah. Entertaining as mm -hmm. well as nutritious. <laughs> yeah, and the roosters can be kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, all right. good, good eggs. Thank you very much for talking with us. Yeah, thank you. So this is uh, Brendan. He's been uh, enjoying our eggs occasionally for some time now. Yeah, I think since he got started. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about farm fresh eggs? I think it's knowing that they're fresh. I think it's a great benefit of knowing where the food you're consuming comes from and that it's actually fresh. Yeah. I think it's a nutrition component. Uh, farm fresh eggs are shown to be more nutritious, yeah. and you can see that in the color. Yeah, yeah, nice bright yellow. Yeah, eggs. Yeah. We also do uh, buy a special kind of uh, organic feed from yeah. a place called Union Mills in Hawaii, Oregon, not too far from us. It's a little more expensive, but I think it's a it's a good investment to have good quality. Yeah, I mean, if you are what you eat, it's something that works for chickens too. Yeah. yeah. Better diet for them is better quality. Yeah. 
Do you have any uh, favorite way of preparing the eggs? Or? I've been working on trying poached eggs. Like, like my own uh, eggs benedict. Yeah. I still think of over poached, but work in progress. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Sharon. Sharon is a very good friend of mine and my lo most loyal framing customer. <laughs> I've been framing things for her since before I've been in business with my, for myself. Back when I learned picture framing from uh, the great frame up. Mm -hmm. That's you were, what it was called. You were right. a customer mm -hmm. uh, way back then when I went out on my own. Mm -hmm. She was one of my first, first clients. Yes, I'm very lucky yeah. to have met you. You know, it's been a great relationship, you know? I appreciate it too. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, to be honest with you, I don't think that, I mean, you just kind of helped me start this all and I just mm -hmm. kind of left it up to you. Otherwise, if I went to like a store or something like that, I would just say black and white, three mats, you know, mm -hmm. that sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. It just wouldn't be the same. Yeah, you get to know somebody, what they really like, you trust what the decisions yeah. that they're making. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a good choice. Yeah, right. it's been fabulous. Yeah, it's just been wonderful. Mm -hmm. And my girls too, I mean, it's just, yeah, mm -hmm. just it's just been wonderful 30 years in a way. To, uh, yeah, it's almost been like 30 years. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So back to the eggs, because this is a conversation <laughs> about eggs, if you didn't know. Sharon occasionally does get some, some eggs from us, mm -hmm. and uh, what, what is it that you like about our eggs in particular? Well, that they're uh, fresh from the farm, basically, colorful, mm -hmm. and different sized, but I do love sc uh, scrambled eggs, and they're just delightful with some sausage and oh. toast, and on a rainy day like this, I really appreciate you stopping by bringing this pack with you. So it you doesn't. Bet. The bet. carton. Yes, thank you. It's been great. And what I meant to say is it's been a wonderful friendship. Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. It's just it's just been great. For me too. For yeah. me too. It's just been great. And just your move from one one house for years into a home that you really deserve. You oh, know, it's thanks. just such a wonderful home. Yes, yes. I'm, yes. I, I can't believe it myself. Still after all these you know, well, three years or so. Mm. It seems like a like a dream. It's a, it is, yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. Mm. So, is that it? That's it. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. So, I'm here with Elizabeth, a good friend, one of my aid customers, and she's been having me do a lot of picture framing, too. Mostly what I've been asking folks is, what do you like about farm fresh eggs, and what's your favorite thing to do with them? Well... I love to cook. It's how I show love. So any cook knows that the fresher the ingredients are, the better the end product's going to be. And knowing where your food comes from now, especially in the time of huge mass production and the things that you hear, even in the time of COVID, uh, it's really important to keep things local. I mean, it's a lower carbon footprint, but the quality of the eggs is so high. and. My end products are pretty cool. Uh, obviously, since we've been trapped inside, I've been doing a lot of baking, a lot of cooking. My most favorite thing to do with them recently has been making uh, pasta dough. So I've been making ravioli with the eggs. I made a pavlova with all the egg whites. So people always think that farm fresh eggs don't have like the ratio that you can use for baking, but mine have worked out beautifully. Good. I've used them for, uh, I guess, it for uh, meringues, for pastas, uh, egg salad is a big fan of this house. My husband loves egg salad, so we're doing a lot of that. Just in case anybody's wondering, this is probably the last egg conversation in this series, and all the other ones were done previous to COVID-19. That's why I'm wearing a mask. Well, the other thing I'd like to add about that, then, too, is that especially in the time of COVID-19, it's so nice to have your eggs delivered to the house. It's one fewer point of contact in the world. And at times like this, it's really nice. I mean, we, we're trying hard to stay safe and be responsible. And so I feel like the eggs are responsible for our bodies and our environment and for our actual health. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. Most, of, uh, most of my egg customers are actually just folks that I work with. 
So I've got a few people that I'll you know, come out to their houses for, special people. So, so yeah. Good. All right. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. One of our customers was a little too camera shy to do an on-camera conversation with me. But she, she sent a letter. So listen up chickens, this is for you. To the hard workers at Ivy Acres Farm, Sputnik and friends. This is Sputnik. We named her Sputnik because she's our star spangled chicken. She's also one of the fastest and hardest to catch. I've heard so much about you and your products that I had to try them out. After I did, and have used them for some time now, I just had to write you all a letter of satisfaction. Your eggs are by far the best I've used. It's easy to see the love and care you put into your business. Your eggs are the tastiest. And when used for baking, well, forget about it. They make all my baked goods number one at the fair. And the colors. They were great this year for Easter. They make the decorating more versatile. You've done a wonderful job. Keep up the good work. Your forever customer. Isn't that nice? Your first fan mail. What do you think? Actually, there was another uh, another customer who was a little too camera shy. I know one of the things that she's made was egg rolls, of all things. Egg rolls. Sputnik. You're a multicultural chicken.